Welcome. We are here with... I don't know if this is going to be a comfy game. Uh, Jack Spinoza posted about uh, their Christmas game because it is December. So, you know what? Let's let's play it. I've not played it. Um, I think I loaded it once. And that was about it. I tried to crop it a little bit, but uh, hopefully this works. Let's see. Jacking Spooner. Oh, I missed this. Look at the little sheep. Oh, gosh. It's the three wise men. It is deep December, 17 miles from the town of David. Three shepherds stand next to their flock of broad tails. Tired from the day, they prepare for sleep. Oh, is this like a- is this a little- little Christmas oh, story? Oh, pity. My feet do bleed and my stomach does turn. <laughs> if all my days are to be as such, then all is dark. Woe has sent her most merciless devils to play havoc on my body. <laughs> okay. Alright. Hush now, Gimble, you most foolish of fools. Not a finger did you raise in assistance to labor this day. And as for your poor stomach, the sheep fear for their own feed. If you grumble about toil, surely it is the toil of platter cleaning. <laughs> Insults indeed. Let it be known that if not for me, your sheep would be in the jaws of ghouls. Be careful when faulting my unorthodox methods. Simply ask, have any of my flock been lost? Um. What? Do you hear this, Frass? Unorthodox, he calls it. Certainly <laughs> snoring as loud as a cacapo at the midday sun is undoubtedly contrary to the usual. <laughs> okay, this is really funny. Simmer down, you pair. My old ears can abide your prattle as well as my old eyes can tolerate your repulsive countenances. Peace doth not caress me when you brutish oafs bicker. <laughs> Dear old Frass, pardon our ways. Aww. Forgiveness will come with rest. Let us lay down our heads for the night tide, for to wake fresh for our duties. Never a finer thought has been spoken. With love, I bid thee pleasant slumber. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Wait. Of all oh, there my dreams oh. I have dreamt. Brothers, brothers, wake from slumber and lend me thy ears, for I have been gifted a vision divine. <laughs> what is this game? Most terribly cold it was. It snowed and was nearly quite dark and evening, the last evening of the year. In this cold and darkness, there went along the street a little boy, skin-headed and with tattooed neck. I'm sorry? When he left Jesus, home, is he that you? Hoodie. It is true, but what was the good of that? It was a very large hoodie, which his dad had hitherto worn. So large was it, and the poor little thing lost it as he scuffed away across the street because of two Fiat Unos that rolled by dreadfully fast. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> oh. He carried a oh. quantity of benzos in a tracky pocket and held a canister of lighter fluid in his hand. Nobody had bought any blues of him the whole live long day. No one had given him a single farthing. He crept along, trembling with DTs and Valium stupor. A very picture of sorrow, the poor little thing. Oh, I love this. Oh, hello. Christmas cracker joke. Why do so many middle-aged men kill themselves? Oh my god, because they feel hopeless. Oh. Oh. Oh, ow. Okay. <laughs> Alright. 
my kids will hate me if I don't get them a Hatchem Hatchimals hatching egg toy. <gasps> Was this from last year? Oh. Oh. His little hands were almost numbed with cold. Oh, a puff of butane might afford him a world of comfort. If he only dare take a single one, inhale against the wall, and let thoughts cartwheel by it. Is this about he drugs? Oh my gosh! How it tickled. It seemed really to the little fellow as though he were sitting before a large burning bin. The fire burned with such blessed influence. It warmed so delightfully. The little boy had already stretched out his feet to warm them too, but... The buzz was over. The bin vanished. He had only the ghastly taste and frozen back of tongue. He gulped back another deep spray from the unguarded nozzle. Betwixt incisor and canine, it blinded brightly. And where the white form in what front the of his fuck? vision, there stood a rabbit hare holding the bleeding uh, throat of a child. Uh, um. Someone is just dead, said the little man. For his old grandmother, the only person who had loved him, and who was now no more, had told him that when a rabbit rips out a throat, a soul ascends to God. That is a very, very specific tale, ma'am. He drew another breath of beauty. It was again light. In the luster, there stood the old grandmother, so bright okay. and radiant, so wild and with such an expression okay. of love. Grandmother, cried the little butane boy. Oh, take me with you. You go away when the buzz burns out. You vanish like the warm bin, like the rabbit. And he pressed um, the spout of the monster for as what long as he fuck, could, dude? for he wanted to be quite sure of keeping his grandmother near him. Oh. The hit gave such a brilliant hallucination that it was brighter than a noonday. Never formerly had the grandmother been so beautiful and so tall. She took the little fellow on her arm, and both flew in brightness and in joy so high, so very high, and then above was neither cold, nor hunger, nor anxiety. They were with God. Okay. But in the corner, at the cold hour of dawn, oh. sat the poor boy, with blue lips and with a smiling mouth leaning against the wall, frozen to death on the last evening of the old year. Stiff and stark sat the child there, with his butane. Aww. He wanted to warm himself, mm. people said. No one had the slightest suspicion of what beautiful things he had seen. No one even dreamed of the splendor in which, with his grandmother, he had entered on the joys of a new year. Aww. by the seraphic spirits of goodness. You sure about that? Oh, brother, come. Let us rejoice and sing our praises to God. The fuck? such a dreamless night for i too have dreamt a dream and thought it true it oh. was deep and storm a heavy Ooh. a young couple were arguing oh oh my oh yeah i love i love you it you want what give it to me i can take it what you want to spend time without me oh can i just leave i don't want to do this So you're making this about oh. me. Bloody typical. I've said nothing. It's not. <laughs> it's not what? It's not fucking what? <laughs> Jeez. It's not you, it's me. Oof. Thanks for clearing that up, but since when did anyone think the problem was me? Everyone knows you're the bloody black hole in this relationship. Oh, ouch. Jesus. You're not going to say something, just going to pace around stuff for words? Speak to me! 
You're impossible sometimes. You know that fucking impossible. Oh my gosh. I need to. Don't turn your back on me. Don't you dare turn your back on me. If you wait out, I'll, I'll give you a better look. You walk out again. Oh my gosh. And so you walked into the snowy day looking for something looking to become something they had an argument and he walked out i don't really i don't know what started the argument i'm in confusion is there anything i think it's gonna be a never-ending wasteland of nothingness and he's going to die i'm, I'm calculating that in my head I love the like snow effect though. It's very pretty. Uh, what the fuck? He became a tree. She brought him home and kept him with her for the rest of their days. She would even, on occasion, dress him in ornaments. Sometimes she what thought the she hell? saw an angel float above him. What the fuck? That's the story of Christmas trees? And so I awoke with blissful joy. This night without a doubt is one of heavenly wonder, for I too have been gifted a dream that has left me wrapped on high. Pray tell, pray tell. I cannot read that. Bardzo dano temu zil sobi mazi zonda nikino imni brakovalo do ai. Some time ago, there was a husband and wife. They had lived long and full lives. Oh, I bet it's translated when they speak. Children. Whoops. One crisp winter, a fluffy snow came, setting almost to one's knees. Oh wow. The children of the town were full of glee and excitedly began making snowmen. The Aww. old couple watched them and were filled with sorrow for what they could not have. Mm. Maybe we could make a snowman, said the old man. You are old and stupid. What would we do with a snowman? Grumbled Babushka. I mean, snowmen are just fun to make, but fine. If destiny denied us a child, then we will have a child from the snow, posited the old man. What? Let it be so, agreed Babushka. This must be an old tale then. What? Is she gonna turn into a tree as well? Oh. Am I supposed to find, like, snow things? <laughs> snow things. Me. Positive babushka? No? Alright, I'll just leave you alone and I'll come back. Any- I don't- they can't interact with him so I'll just go off screen, come back. Oh! Little child of snow. Very cute. <laughs> Babushka stroked the snowman on the head and sighed. Ah, if we could just have that kind of daughter. Aww. When she said these words, she felt that the snowman was breathing lightly, like a child. Oh. They both looked in disbelief <gasps> when the black eyes squinted and the little mouth smiled. Snezhka moved her little legs and stretched her little arms, looked from left to right, then looked curiously at the old couple. Ah! cried the old couple in joy. This is no snowman, but a real child. Maybe a little both. Snezhka shook her head. Snezhka clapped her hands. Mm. And Snezhka stamped her feet due to the cold, poor thing. She tried to brush the snow from her dress, but couldn't. Mm. Then she ran into the house. The old couple eagerly ran after her. Yeah, she's made of snow. When she's the couple gonna... set foot in the house, Snezhka was nowhere to be seen. 
Only a steaming puddle was left next to the fireplace. Hmm. How quaint! That's not quaint! That's sad! But what are we to make of these beatific visions? To what purpose are these blessings? Just then, I don't think they're the blessings. chorus began. The shepherds raised their heads, and their gaze was met with a glorious sight, for before them appeared a great company of the heavenly host. Oh gosh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I thought that was cheese for a second. <laughs> That's... Uh... Very strange, but very beautiful. <laughs> okay. That's so strange. I love that. Merry Christmas. Merry Chris Lur Merry Christmas. Does it just Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hold on, I'm gonna spam the space bar and see how it sounds. Hold on, I gotta I gotta do it. You can't do this to me. Hold on. Merry Christmas. Oh, that sounds so cool. What, one, one more time. I know that this is probably the end, but one more time. Merry Christmas. Okay, that's it for the game. Um, wow. That was <laughs> fucking confusing. <laughs> I actually really liked it, though. I love the little butane boy story, as sad as it was. Um... The couple's story, I, I wonder if these are actual, like, Christmas fables or not. Um, I'm gonna have to look into that, but it was really cool. I liked it. The, I, this has to be a little old, though, because the Hatchimals thing was from last year. <laughs> that was last year. Oh. But, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!